Hello, Story Slammers! Woo! Okay, so... <laughs> you guys are laughing before I even open my mouth. That's a good sign. So, Easter Sunday was a really big deal where I came from. Um, and that was the time when everybody that had never been to church all year showed up, right? We, we there? Okay. And not only did they show up, but they showed up in their Sunday best. So 11 year old Jamie, right? Getting ready for Easter Sunday. Now there's something you need to understand. There were two churches in the little town where I grew up in Delco. And the town was called Morton, Morton, PA. It's called Morton. Woohoo, Morton. The first church was the First Baptist Church of Morton, of Mortone. That was the refined church where the ladies wore beautiful dresses and Chanel cologne and had fans. And Reverend Parson would preach and the ladies would fan themselves. And if he got excited, they would fan themselves more, okay? And at First Baptist Church, which by the way, my family were co-founders of the church. So my grandmother who raised me was a celebrity in that church. We had our own pew. And when she came in with us every Sunday, she trailed us up to First Baptist. And there was a choir in First Baptist Church with the median age of 90 years old, okay? And they all seemed to have nasal congestion. And they would be singing and telling the Lord about their nasal congestion like this. So it was very painful. Also, the pulpit of First Baptist Church, where the preacher stood and preached for all you heathens, okay? <laughs> The floor opened up into a pool where rep right and it had the pool had stair steps and the first Sunday of every month Reverend Parson would take some poor con congregation person congregationist congregant thank you all dressed in white and he would walk him down the stairs right and then he would take him by the back of the neck and say something like, Hush! and then dunk him in the pool and bring him back up. And 11 year old Jamie was sitting in the audience petrified, thinking, why is he trying to drown that man? What did that guy do to anybody that he would be drowned? And why am I supposed to sit here and watch it? I don't understand what's going on. But this is what happened at First Baptist Church. Now, the church around the corner was Shorter AME Church. Now, that church service was a disco party, okay? <laughs> When the reverend got to preaching in there, them women used to jump up and down, run up and down the alley, whoa, and the spirit was in that place. That's where I wanted to be. And Shorter AME Church had a young people's department where all the young people sang in the choir. So that was the hip place to be. So Easter Sunday, little Miss Bossy Pants Jamie tells Granny, I want to go to Shorter. So Granny takes me to Buster Brown. Anybody know Buster Brown's shoes? <laughs> Woohoo! So she takes me to Buster Brown to buy myself some Easter shoes. And we walk in and she selects for me some of the nice, reasonable Mary Jane's patent leather and white socks for 11-year-old Jamie. Well... Miss Bossy Pants wasn't having it. I wanted the shoes that were the five inch wood heel shoes, platform shoes strap up at 11 years old, okay? And Granny said, mm -mm, no, I showed out in Buster Browns, okay? I acted a fool until Granny said, fine. 
we'll get you those five inch shoes. And see, I felt like I had some agency because I had previously won the argument to get the hat I wanted. And I wanted one of those big floppy hats, you know? So I, now I'm set. I got the hat and I got the shoes and I am ready to go. Easter Sunday comes along. Granny's in the room getting dressed. I'm putting on my outfit, put on my hat, strap on those shoes, and Granny says, are you ready to go? And I said, yes. <laughs> and I realized that the shoes weigh more than I do, okay? And Granny's like, are you coming? And I'm like, yes, I'm coming, because see, Granny is not gonna know that little bossy pants messed up big time. So she says, well, I'm gonna go ahead and drive to First Baptist so you can walk around the corner to Shorter. So I'm leaving the house with this big floppy hat on and these 20 pound shoes each. And I'm walking like, oh Jesus, help me. <laughs> oh Lord, take the wheel. And the hat is flopping and I can't see where I'm going. And I was, my ankles are, 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 are shaking. And I finally get to church and I flop down like a bag of potatoes. Now see what happened is my grandmother was strong. She was standing on strong ground then. She was like 50, hot, influential, respected, you know, but that wasn't forever, right? So the years passed and granny's hard ground got softer cause she got older, right? And I grew up. So at one point, I had this fancy apartment in the penthouse, and I invited Granny over for Mother's Day to cook her a Mother's Day dinner. And I'm washing dishes, and I hear this soft sound behind me, and it's Granny sobbing. And she looks at me, and I said, what's wrong, Mama? And she says, I don't want to be alone. And I held her and we held each other. And that was the moment that we switched places. And we became two women, not one bigger or smaller or hard or soft, but two friends, two women friends. And you know, the road of a woman can be hard sometimes and it can be soft but never give up because you just don't know how your life affects somebody else and it can be extraordinary and profound. Thank you.